We are the 3D Solar Panel Array Group, and essentially our project is following in the footsteps of MIT's project, uh, looking, looking at 3D PV, 3D photovoltaics. So essentially when a ray of sunlight hits a solar panel, not all of the energy is uh, turned into electricity, about 80% of it bounces off and is lost to the atmosphere. So if we can strategically place a solar panel in the way of that and regain some of that lost electricity, um, that is what we're looking to do and that was the original research of MIT. So um, what our project is, is producing a modular and adjustable system that allows us to um, do future testing on 3D photovoltaics and find optimum angles that are able to produce the highest power output per footprint area. The strategy we took for our project was to have a iterative design process where we would design a component, uh, 3D print it out, and see what we liked about it and disliked about it. And from there, we're able to make these appropriate changes for our next iteration. And so this iterative process was the process that we took throughout the whole entire project for each of our different components. For our design, we had three major components. The hinge, which allows for the movement of, of the panels. The housing, which holds and secures the panels in place. And the clips, which electrically connect the panels together. And so with our final design, we were able to meet our initial requirements of having a both modular and adjustable system. The design and manufacturing of this prototype made up the first stage of this project. It's ongoing, and the second stage is going to consist of a research portion. That'll be continued on by Trevor as his graduate thesis, and what he's going to be doing is mainly looking into the research of this, and by plugging in the possible arrangements of this prototype into a computer simulation, he's going to be finding the most optimized geometric configurations. So at the end of this project, we did come out with a prototype that accomplished all of our set out requirements, and uh, it will help me in my graduate research next year. We wanted to send a special thanks to the University of Alaska Fairbanks College of Engineering and Mines, as well as Rorick Peterson, both our instructor and mentor for this project, and to URSA Undergraduate Research and for Scholarly Activities for helping us fund this project. Thanks.